we are going to shoot pistols today. I just want to say real quick before we start this video, anytime you're out shooting, especially with pistols or any firearm for that matter, safety's number one, guys. out here at the range today. Safety first. But on a serious note, I have made it my goal this year to become more efficient with my pistol. The great state of Idaho passed a law last year. Don't quote me word for word for this, but I believe the law states that if you are 21 years and older, and you're not obviously a convicted felon, that you can legally conceal a weapon and that allows you to conceal a weapon without going through your, your concealed weapons permit class. I have the option to do that and I never do it. And every time I'm somewhere with my family, if it's a movie theater or the grocery store somewhere, and I think if something ever went down, I would regret that for the rest of my life that I wasn't a responsible gun carrier and I didn't have a, a gun on me to protect myself, my family, or anybody else around me. And a big part of that is because I don't know how efficient I feel with my pistol yet. I've shot it probably 50, 60 times, but I've made it a goal this year to shoot my pistol more, feel more comfortable with it, and to carry it in case of a situation ever went down. So we're out here today. Me and Logan are going to have a little bit of fun and do a little shoot off, but uh, we're just going to shoot the pistol and uh, get more comfortable with it. And if you guys have any tips and tricks for us at home, like always, please let us know. A lot of this stuff as we go along and we make these videos, we make these videos so we can learn as, as well as you guys can learn. It seems like there's always somebody that knows more than us or knows more than you. So it's great to get the comments, get the feedback, and uh, we all learn together. Anyways, I'm going to whip Logan. I know that for sure. Safety first. Sticks on the uh, old staple gun are pretty good. So I just realized that I only brought like 15, 20 shells with me. So we're gonna do uh, three shot groups and uh, we'll kind of make this up as we go. But we're gonna shoot close, probably uh, 15 yards maybe, 10 yards more like. That's about 10 yards right there. First round we'll go three shots. You can take your time, best three shots. And then we'll move on to the round two, I guess. And I haven't decided what round two might be. So I'm going to give you a brief rundown of what this gun is, as far as what I know. This is a Kimber Ultra Carry in the 1911 frame. It's a 45, and that's about all I know. It does have this safety. This is the safety on the gun, so this has to be depressed before you can pull the trigger. Logan informed me that he thinks it's called a beaver tail, so if we're way off there, let us know. But like I said, I've shot this gun... 50, 60 times. It's a nice little gun. It's a great carry gun is what I think. Let's shoot it. See how we, uh, how efficient we are. My first shot was super low, so I switched up. First shot's down here. Second shot, I adjusted for that. Third shot, not no, not really knowing what what happened there. So it went one, two, three. <laughs> Let's see if Logan can do better. I don't know how I felt about that one. I've shot a couple 1911s, a few, actually just recently in an indoor range. This is the compressed model or the holster carry. But I don't know. Let's see how that went down. So I'm two of these. You're these two. Then my third one is probably high, eh? I guess the right way to do this would be to measure all your shots from center and then add those up. But since uh, a couple things here, you probably would have beat me if your third one would have been on, but I'm guessing your third one would have been about 15 inches high. <laughs> also, you got DQ'd because you didn't have all your personal protective equipment on. Your PPE. <laughs> DQ'd. DQ'd on the first round. Dang it. Hey, I'm not above taking a disqualification from my opponent to win the first round. Second round, we're going to do three shots within five seconds. So once you say go, am I talking really loud? <laughs> so loud. <laughs> These washer game ears work. You're going to have five seconds to shoot three rounds. So you're going to have to film and count. So you're going to go, go. One, two, three, four. 
five. You have to get your three shots off in five seconds. Here, you go first. I'll let okay. you go first. All right. Okay. So, do you have a pen? Oh, yeah. Let's get a marker and mark this. <laughs> it's your third shot. <laughs> We gotta mark them so we know. So we're already changing rules. Logan thinks that uh, five seconds is too long of a period, so we're gonna go three seconds. You have three seconds to get three rounds off. I feel very confident that I can get three rounds off in three seconds. I just don't know about getting them all on the paper. I'm gonna aim a little low. I tend to squeeze the trigger and bring the barrel up, so here we go. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Ooh. Definitely beat the time. It looked good. I, it's just so weird because the 40, like especially with this kind of a shorter barrel, it tends to buck a little bit. But I don't How know, do I just like you did? tried to put the orange on the white and pull the trigger, so we'll see. And we have one hole on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> got one hole in there. Eric went and shot a while back. He went and shot an indoor range and actually got some, some uh, tips from a guy that worked there. And I can't remember what exactly what he's saying, but he was saying you want to put, you want to cover a lot of the surface of the pistol because that gives you more of a steady grip. I can't remember. I think this feels comfortable to me. Instead of this, I think you want to be up here. On your marks, get set, shoot. One, two, three. I think I whooped you, bud. I got the three seconds. Let's see if I got the paper. Oh, ho. dude, look at the accuracy here. Oh no, nope, that's that's a mark. That's and I think a mark. This is my one. Yep. I think we're tied, dog. <sighs> High five. That's a tie. That's like same distance away. Same too. distance away. When I first saw it, it's like, oh yeah, two right there. I got one. I think our first shot's the one too. <laughs> Round three, I'm up one. Round three is gonna consist of time again. You're gonna have three bullets. You're gonna have to load them in the magazine, load them into the gun, shoot three rounds. We're gonna run a stop clock and see who can do it the fastest, but it also is gonna come down to accuracy. 60% of the score is gonna come from accuracy. 40% of the score will come from time. So if you load them really fast and win and shoot and you win the stop clock, you win the 40%. But then an accuracy is 60%. Is this, any of this making sense? I don't know. Let's <laughs> do it, okay? Three, two, one, go. Oh no. You're at 15 seconds. No, I'm not. Oh no. Oh! I, I, I'm still going. We only minutes. have a certain oh. amount of ammo. You're in a minute. <laughs> oh, bro. Way to open the door. I left the door so far open. That's what we're looking at. 28.59. I'm gonna be honest. I was gonna come out of the gate swinging. I know a way to really shoot the gun fast. But uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of take my time <laughs> Dang it. and uh, see if I can put some bolts on paper. You haven't even seen my uh, accuracy yet. <laughs> one, two, ha. Where was your first one? Right here. Oh yeah, I thought that was a pen Second mark. one was right here. Two on the paper. So, hey, not bad. On your mark, oh, positioning the bullets. On your mark, get set, go. All the time in the world, Logie Bear. Step up, oh, 28 seconds already. Oh, stepping closer. I think all three are on there. Well, definitely beat me on time by uh, 13 seconds. Let's see what the uh, paper has to say. You have one, two, three. Three. Dang it! <laughs> and I breached orange, bro. And you breached the I orange. I breached the orange. We got a tight ball game, guys. This was not planned. We did not script it this way. We got to think of a third round. We have two bullets left. Should we just do closest shot at like maybe 40 yards? Increase the distance, closest to center. Yeah, I one like shot. Yeah. One shot for the big, uh, 
for the big W. Let's move this back another 10 yards and we're gonna shoot one shot to decide the 2018 Pistol Shoot Off Championship here in Pocatello, Idaho. This happens every year. Well, this is the first year it's ever happened. Um, but they're really looking to bring this back next year and hopefully get a little more participation just besides two people. All right, so you got one shot. Give me the rules real quick. There is only one rule. You have one shot to make yeah. the best shot you possibly can. And we're gonna have to measure if we're both on paper. Two bullets left. Two bullets left. Two guys, one pistol. This is a viral video. The rules are you have one shot closest to the paper. That's all the rules, so. Here we go. <laughs> Going down on the bench, huh? Going on the bench. How do you think you did? How do you feel? I felt good. I mean, I was surprised when it went off, so that's a good sign. Knuckle the tip. Good shot, bud. You didn't expect the bench coming out. That's why I was hoping I'd go second. Because <laughs> I made sure to clarify the rules. I just about called him a cheater, but I did clearly state there's only one rule. Make the very best shot. I don't know how I feel about it. I felt like I was definitely squeezing the trigger and then I think I jerked it at the last second. Oh no. I'm not even on paper. <laughs> W's! W's! I'm trying to find a, a hiding bullet. <laughs> There's not one. How did I not even hit paper? I have to bow to Logan now, 2018 pistol shoot off champion. That is exactly why I wanted to come out here. Um, I need to shoot a lot more. I need to make it a habit to shoot that gun at least once a week. And I actually need to go and shoot with somebody that actually knows what they're doing and can, can watch me and shoot and uh, tell me some things that I need to do better. But it's just like anything. I mean, the more you do it, the better you're gonna be. I've just never shot a pistol very much in my life. This is the first pistol I've, second pistol I've ever owned. And so, uh, I haven't done it a lot, I'm not great at it. Need to practice more and get out and just spend the time doing it, but it's fun. I want to get more efficient with the pistol and carry it more often and uh, just just be ready for anything that might ever go down. You know, hopefully and prayingly it won't, but that was fun. Logan, good job. It's first event, first thing Logan has ever beat me in and looking a little better and being a little in better shape. Those things too. Anyway. Thank you.